We're going to do a blue cheese stuffed bison burger with drunken bacon and onions. Nice. Delicious. I use port wine for the drunken. You'll see. Love it. It's going to be great. All right, so here's what we're going to start with. This is going to be for later on. This is going to be for a garnish for those bison burgers. So I want to fry the bacon to get that fat extracted from there. I don't necessarily want to fully cook it out, right, so that it's crunchy. Sure. I still want to have a little texture to it. Get that sizzle. Yeah. But what I'm doing, Catherine, is I'm actually, I'm rendering this down because I want the fat for my onions. So while that's happening, okay. simply peel an onion, but I'm just doing a very simple slice. Very simple. I get sous chefs helping me prep for the tailgate, and the one job everybody hates is onions? giving them onions because then my okay, so like, what was it the time? I love it. For me, Catherine, it's really having the, the right onion. And what what makes people really cry is not having a sharp knife. Mm. What happens is it just starts to spur, and you don't want to do that. Now I'm going to add all of these onions inside of that bacon fat, and I'm going to season it now with salt and pepper and start that flavoring. All right. So now that I have that going, Catherine, we got our onions in there with the fat. And now, Catherine, what we want to do is add another layer of flavor. We have salt and pepper. Now we're going to add some fresh thyme. Yep. What people do, I'll put the whole thing in there. right? But then you got to fish it out later. Here's what you want to do. Just like take the thyme right off the stem like that. And then I don't have too much to fish out later. And I'm getting all, still I'm getting all that flavor. So, yeah. all right, the thyme is in there. Smelling good already. We've been caramelizing them and caramelizing them. You can see the color of them. Look at that. That's just the natural sugar coming out of them though. We're going to add brown sugar to that. Dissolve the brown sugar. See how it's sort of melted and dissolved? And now what we're going to do is we're going to add some port wine. Got to get them drunken up. Yes, to get them a little drunk. <laughs> and then check this out. We're going to lower the heat. We're going to get that evaporation of the port wine, but we're going to get the concentration of what that wine really is, that beautiful tasting grape. All right, so that's, that's working on that. We're going to move here to our bison burgers. Okay. Two right. pounds of bison meat, ground, right from Colorado. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some salt, season them up, pepper, spicy as you want, garlic powder. Mm -hmm. I don't use a lot of garlic powder, but for this, I want that intense flavor because believe it or not, the garlic powder is gonna be incredible with the blue cheese. Yeah. And I got a good, good domestic blue cheese. You want to get a real good one. So we're mixing this all up. And, you know, people, Catherine, they, they overmix their meat. When they're making hamburgers or making bison burgers, they go in there and they're just like fussing with it. Don't fuss with it. Just, just fold it. Get the ingredients together. Okay? And then look, like I said, we're going to divide it. Because then this is going to make three burgers on each side. Now is the perfect time to divide your portion. Oh, this is a little bit heavy. Okay, we'll put it over here. Same thing on this side. So we got really six beautiful burgers. So, they're even. Now what we're gonna do before we shape them into patties, we're gonna stuff them with the blue cheese and then we shape our patties. Oh yeah. One final trick. You go through all of this trouble and you can do this the day before, yeah. not a problem. Uh -uh. Two days before, not a problem. But here's the thing. Before you take them to the grill, you wanna bring them out of the refrigerator and let them come up to room temperature for at least 30 minutes before you put them on the grill. Because then they uh, chill out a little bit or unchill a little bit, right. which will prevent a lot of it from sticking. The other tip, 
for you at home, folks, is like, look at these beautiful bison patties. They didn't do anything to you, <laughs> right? So when you put them on the grill, let them be. Yeah. People that go with the spatula and they're trying to flatten them and they're turning them 50 times and they're pushing the, the juices, don't do that. Mm -hmm. Let them cook. Gotta have that That's in why there. they call it cooking. Right. Now, before you put them on the grill, you can take a little bit of oil and then we'll come into the grill now. On the grill. Yeah, you get that sizzle. Now our sliders. Smells great. Wow. All right, so now. Fantastic. We do. So good. Some of those drunken onions. That looks so good. We do an uncracked bacon. <laughs> It'd go well with crack. Yeah. It would go really well with cracked bacon. Now the, then the tops go on. All right, so there we have it. Looks so good. All right, going on the plate. You'll have to come to Denver and come tailgate with me and make it for like two or three hundred people. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. I'm gonna take mine right here. Now we could be polite and cut it in half, or we can just be tailgating. Oh yeah. And take a bite. Oh. That's so good. If it doesn't drip down your face, it it's ain't not worth juicy. It. Uh uh. It's not worth it. Nope. 